And Michelle, have you ever heard of a CT scan? This involves special equipment that takes cross-sectional images of the human body to help diagnose disease. But now there's a new CT scanner that can produce this kind of image. How is this possible? Today we've come to visit the Takumi or Innovator. Let's go find out. Hello, I'm Michelle. Hello, I'm Saito. Welcome, I'm Sugihara. Today we have two Takumi, Yasuo Saito and Naoki Sugihara. They have developed a new type of CT scanner. This is the machine. It's an innovative CT scanner that can even take video all at once. They showed me how it's done. This is a patient's heart. This is the CT scan of the heart. It doesn't look any different from a conventional scan. You can get this to move, too. Yes, it's contracting. Even the precise movement can be seen. It looks so real. With image processing, you can see the organ just as it was when scanned. You would think it's computer graphics, but instead it's portraying the patient's actual beating heart. What does a CT scanner that can take the image of an organ in just an instant look like on the inside? Just this once, for just a little, okay? Open the flap, please. Unfortunately, the interior is a company secret. Please start the rotation. But they were able to show us the interior when it was moving. <laughs> is this the top speed? It's rotating so fast. A CT scanner uses an X-ray emitter and a receiver that rotates around the patient's body at high speed. This scanner takes just 0.275 seconds to complete one revolution and perform the scan. But how is this machine different from conventional CT scanners? The difference lies in the width of the detector. Conventional detectors are as wide as the palm of the hand, but the latest is 30 centimeters wide. Conventional scanners are also more narrow, so images are taken by moving the patient's body little by little. But with the new scanner, the width of the detector is wider, so cross-sectional pictures are taken only once. This means there's less radiation exposure. But the two Takumi had to overcome many difficulties in development. This part here is what's called a module. This module is part of the detector from back in 2001. Dozens of these are arranged in a row to make one detector. Numerous one millimeter sized pixels are embedded on the surface. The whole detector has 16,000 in total. But their target number of pixels was 3 million, 187 times the ones they had developed. That meant handling large amounts of data. So the signals sent from each pixel had to be shortened to make high-speed transmission possible. Furthermore, they developed a special high-speed computation device to instantly calculate the enormous amount of data. This enabled the development of a detector that was four times wider. But there was yet another problem. When the detector was widened, noise appeared on the image that should not be there. The stripes that you see are the noise. When the detector is widened, the angle of the X-ray also widens. The phenomenon appeared when the X-ray hit the bones at an angle. To solve this problem, they took numerous samples and analyzed the conditions under which the noise appeared. Based on that data, they independently developed an algorithm to remove the noise. 
after more than five years, a CT scanner that can capture a width of 16 centimeters in one shot was complete. Furthermore, the scanner can create a four-dimensional image showing movement of the organ over time, which enables more precise treatment. For example, this tumor seems to be adhering to the inner side of the lung, but from the video footage, we can see that it is not completely attached. This kind of important information can help reduce the burden on patients undergoing surgery. We asked the two Takumi who developed this unprecedented CT scanner about the importance of craftsmanship. Well, since I'm an engineer, I really feel that my work should help provide people with the best products that offer new value. My hope is that developing a new device can help those patients who were not able to be saved before. The CT scanner developed by the two Takumi is widely used in Japan and overseas as an industry-leading device. They're continuing to make improvements so it will be faster, more compact and energy efficient. Wow, I really hope this CT scanner leads to earlier detection of disease. So do I. Less radiation exposure and more precise imaging and data are so impressive. It gives me a great appreciation for the engineers and Takumi who build medical devices. The medical team that saves lives and helps people is not only in the hospital, but also in the factories that make the equipment. That's right. Thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Gathright, how would you wrap up today's program? I was impressed by the research taking place at the Kikai Caldera. Today we learned that the Earth has her own timetable. Though we may not be able to predict the next massive eruption, this research could help us perceive the warning signs and save lives. And that's all for Science View. Thank you for joining us. And see you all next time.